Good morning and welcome Team Southside, where teamwork makes the dream work. Mr. Reynolds here. And Miss D, and we have some spectacular second graders with us today. We've got... Samuel will be from Miss Carter's class. Aubrey Lowry from Miss Carter's class. All right, so they are here to help us out this morning and of course help us say the pledge. So let's go ahead and stand up and say it together. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, well, happy Monday to everyone. I know you guys are in your gray today because we are celebrating All Abilities Week, and it would be so boring, just like a gray, cloudy day, if we were all the exact same. And this week, we got to thinking, you know, on Mondays, we either have an estimistry or a word of the week. And since it is All Abilities Week, we have a brand new word of the week. week. And our word of the week this week is the word unique. Hmm, unique. Yeah. I like that word. Me too. So, Mr. Reynolds, what does it mean if you use the word unique to describe something or someone? Hmm, I think that you have your your special in a certain way. Right. Something that's different about you from others, if you're talking about yourselves being unique. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. And what makes us all unique and special is that we just have things about ourselves that maybe isn't like everybody else. So can you guys think of a way that you are unique and special in your own way? I like art, but a different kind of art that most people are used to. It's called Rube Goldberg art. Mm -hmm. And um, it's it's not just a kind of art that you draw on a paper. Mm. It's something that you can use out of like junk or other things and just make a chain reaction, which means it's something that just goes on until it does something. I love wow. the Rube Goldberg machines. Yeah. And I didn't know that you liked that. Those you're very unique in that. I that love it. is that is a unique form of art and that is super cool, Samuel. I love it. All right. How about Aubrey? Um, when I do cheer, there's some things other people can't do, like the hard cartwheels and stuff. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Ways of being unique. How about Miss D? How are you unique? Well, one thing that makes me a little bit unique is that I am a twin. And mm -hmm. being a twin is something that is kind of different and special that not everybody can say that they are a twin. So it kind of makes me a little bit unique. How about you, Mr. Reynolds? Um, maybe I'm unique in that I like to run long distances. Yes. You know, I did run that one race that was 76 miles. And, and this past weekend, you, you ran. We have a 12-hour race this past weekend yeah, that we did. Yeah, so that fun. definitely makes you unique. I mean, I don't know anybody off the top of my head other than Mr. Reynolds that runs for 12 hours in a row. How about you guys? Nope. Nope. <laughs> that definitely makes him special. So as you guys can hear and see, we all have things about us that make us unique, and so do you. So this week we will continue to focus on the word unique and you will hear a lot more about it. Now, speaking of unique, I do believe that Samuel has something else that's unique about him that's different from the rest of the second graders. That's right. Something that has to do with reflex. Okay, Samuel, Samuel can you tell talk us about to that? us. I have mastered reflex. Oh, mastered And when you it. say mastered, you don't just mean addition and subtraction. Tell us what else. Multiplication and division. The whole wow. program you have mastered and you are in second grade. Yeah. That is incredible and that definitely makes him unique. We are so proud of you. That was hard work, right? Yeah, it was it was extremely hard. <laughs> and you persevered, yeah. you're a resilient learner, and you are very unique and special for that. Great and job, kiddo. All of our students here at Southside have unique things about them that make they them special. Do. And we love each and every one of you for that. That's right. So you guys, we will continue to celebrate All Abilities Week. And tomorrow we have another dress up day that we are so excited about. Yeah, we're gonna knock your socks off tomorrow with your bright and colorful socks. Oh, I cannot wait. So wear your colorful socks tomorrow and participate in our dress up days because they are so much fun. All right, one thing I do want to highlight before we get to the safe, respectful, responsible thing yep. is about being respectful and responsible in the cafeteria. Yes. I have been hearing from a few of our people who work in the cafeteria that our students are not living up to that expectation in the cafeteria right now. Hmm. And so I need you to make sure that in your cafeteria you're doing some things for us. What do you guys think are some rules that we should be following in the cafeteria all the time? 
Don't throw food. Okay, oh, what else, good. Aubrey? Um, say please and thank you. Ma using your manners, very good. Uh, let's think about voice level. What voice yes. level should we use in the cafeteria? A level voice. one or level two. Yeah, right. level one voice. In most cases, you are allowed to sit by whom you want to. It's true. You're not given assigned seats, and so you should be talking to those people right there near you. Yeah. And should not be using level two or three voices in That's our cafeteria. That's right. Because think about it, you guys. I mean, there's a lot of kids in the cafeteria, right? How many kids would you think are in the cafeteria at once? Probably like, like 200. <laughs> I think you're probably all right. I yeah. do too. And that's a lot of voices. And we love, we like to talk when we eat lunch, right? And we know you do too. However, you have to be respectful of all of the people around you and make sure your voice level is that conversation level with the people that are close to you. So then you can respect everybody in the cafeteria, including those adults that work so hard to make sure you have what you need. Yeah, I want to check in with those adults every day this week. Absolutely, and perhaps we can give some dojo points to those classes yes. that are doing the right thing in the cafeteria. Right, so. very good, I would love that too. So, you know we love to see you here at Southside and we love to see you be safe, safe respectful, respectful, and responsible in all places, including the cafeteria, the cafeteria. <laughs> and it's, it's always, always a great day to be a Southside Stallion. Bye, y'all.